Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's Rifkel, and we're playing some Zelda Randomizer today. This is a standard seed, uh, basic start, or basic logic, standard start. Uh, Samaria right off the bat. Okay. So, uh, standard start means we're required to do the escape first. Uh, it does have a, or I believe I set it to, yeah. It's not a guaranteed sword. Uh, you always get a weapon when you start. Uh, we actually got lucky and got two. So we got ten bombs and uh, <laughs> the staff. We're going to skip as many enemies as we can because we've got these, uh, the bombs. I want to make sure we actually get through those. <laughs> Basically, I want to make sure we actually get to keep a bomb at least so we can get the escape. For those of you who have not seen these before, uh, Zelda Randomizer is so it's linked to the past, except all of the chest locations, all of the rewards from NPCs, all of the boss rewards are mixed up. <clears throat> That's a thing. So half magic right off the bat means that we get a. Uh, <laughs> means that this just became really stupidly easy by comparison. That's a full magic refill, and it means that our staff charges are only doing half now. <clears throat> it's gonna make it a lot easier to keep our... Make it a lot easier to keep the... Uh, keep the bombs. Shouldn't have to use any. So yeah, all the locations are randomized, all the uh, crystals and pendants for each dungeon are randomized, enemies and bosses stay the same, and the requirements for progression for each area stay the same. So you still need, like, you know, usually you still need the book and the... Um like the book and the glove and stuff to get through desert, and possibly the boots. Cape? Wow. This is loaded. Uh, I'm gonna grab an extra heart just for safety, because I believe at this point if we die we lose Zelda and we have to go back through it. So I mentioned basic logic earlier, uh, one of the things that they've changed in the newest version is they added an advanced logic setting, and basically what that means is there are certain requirements where the game will be uh, more challenging or require you to take alternate methods to get through certain areas, like being able to light torches with the fire rod instead of requiring dark rooms to give you a lamp. Um, I'm a casual player. I played this game a lot, and I've watched a lot of the tournaments. I understand the basics of the logic. That doesn't mean that I can perform it. And that doesn't mean I want to put the time in to learn it. So we're basically sticking with... Well, basically sticking with basic. Um, because... I feel like, yes, it's less challenging, but it's more fun. And to me, the fun of this is following the logic, learning how the stuff works, you know, finding the path, 
and having to perform the precision, like... I mean, I guess you're supposed to be able to light the torches, you know, using the... Um, fire rod. But even that still requires you to know where those torches are, to find the fire rod, to you know, have magic for it. I think there's a few other things that that logic does. But, like I said, I'd rather just not worry about it. This also guarantees that you get uh, more equipment before getting to certain bosses and stuff like that. Like, it's a lot more friendly. And like I said, I am a casual player. I don't want it to be ridiculous. I'm not a speedrunner, and one of the things that's been really intimidating lately with watching tournament play is the fact that almost all of the people that are in the top ranks of the tournaments now, you know, it used to be that there was a lot more variety, and now it seems like everybody is a speedrunner. This is a heck of a start. I like the fact that it's not all early progression items, like it's not the bow and, um, you know, bow and the glove and the hammer that would give you access to stuff. It's very much, you know, a lot of decent items, but it's not items that you need at the beginning, usually. And we did get a sword, which is nice. Sanctuary Heart in the Vanilla location. Uh, you can tell because the normal heart containers don't actually refill your hearts. This one did. Uh, given where we're at, let's do... Okay, so let's pull here. I was kind of hoping for rupees. Um, let's check bush crab. Nope. And since we've got the boots, and this would actually be in logic if we beat Aghanim, just a heart container. Uh, that ledge is only accessible after you beat Aghanim, so if you had an item that's like the bow or something back there, it could be required. I do want my rupees. We're not at Bottle Vendor Cash yet, so I'm sure we will be by the time we get to get through Kakariko, but you know, better safe than sorry. More bombs, wow. This is a really interesting start. Like... Getting the... the staff along with the... um... bombs made it a lot more interesting. So we start with Kakariko, it has lots of, uh, lots of treasure chests, probably the highest. That's a Master Sword, okay. Book. Speaking of Aghanim. <laughs> and Desert. More than enough. Awesome. Well on our way to Zora Cash here. Well, yeah, Kakariko, as long as you've got bombs, is I think like 14 checks, something like that. 
which is very high. Fire Rod? Jeez. Early Fire Rod with half magic makes, means that the, uh... Mushroom, that's a check over if we... That's an additional check if we get the... Um... We get the flippers and slash or the gloves. Mirror. This is really front-loaded, which means we're probably going to end up wandering around looking for a single item later. Ah, <laughs> uh, we don't have the bottle for the sick kid yet. Safe quit out, go over to Link's house. And real quick, I'm gonna actually check the menu. Okay. Check South Shore. Use the mirror to glitch the block out of existence. One of the few glitches I'm comfortable using regularly. Probably wasn't worth running up to get, but oh well. Moldrum Cave. Apparently they're gonna kick in the butt. Was really slow, but better safe than sorry. Um, loot means we have access to the mountain. So we can go up to Spectacle Rock. We can't really get much else on the mountain. Uh, we don't have the lamp. Crap. So in case you do not know, uh, the crabs here on the overworld do two hearts of damage, so if we get hit by one of those at this point, we are dead. That's part of why I'm being so careful here. Yeah, like that. <sighs> okay. Uh, we're gonna leave Ice Cave for- or we'll leave Ice Rod Cave for now. So, Book of Medora suggests to me that Desert would probably be fine, but I feel like going up here, we get Sahasrala and we get a... 
a lot more chests. We don't have a fire source or the glove yet, so it may be a double dip into desert. But we can at least check these ones first. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, Desert might actually be faster. Like, just because I don't want to have to double dip. So let's do... that's not what I want to do. Ugh. That wasted a little time. That's okay. I'm going to do a little bit of weird routing here. We're going to go over and activate the flute, and then warp to desert, warp to Agana, or warp to desert, do Agana cave, and then cut across. So by holding that spin slash, uh, it actually enables the flute to be used immediately after you summon or you unlock the duck. Otherwise, you have to wait a few seconds. So, haven't found any items yet. That means there's a decent chance one of the items is on the boss at this point, but it's possible that all the rest of the items are over here. There's one of them. And I'm hoping this is either the bow or the glove or the... Anything? No. Red boomerang. <sighs> That's unfortunate. So there's a decent chance, given that we've already found all the items here, that we can uh, head over to... Actually, we can go up to the mountain and do Hera also. Yep, we're doing Hera.
Then we can cut across with the hammer. Hammer lets you get to the east side of Death Mountain without the hook shot, so that'll give us another uh, eight checks. Bedrock. Oh my god. There's Bombos. We'll just go ahead and through here. That wasn't worth it. Oh well. <clears throat> Piece of heart is on Turtle Rock. Okay. Ice rod? Okay. I don't like the way that's shaping up for an early turtle rock, but other than that... At least we don't have to go looking for it. Okay, let's see what we got. Compass. The key means we go up first. That's not what I wanted. off? I want to say there's a way to do this. Nope. I think there is a way to do that, but I don't... I'm not confident enough to know what it would be. So we're going to go ahead and do Moldorm, even though... Um... So, we've got a 50-50 that Moldorm is the map, but Moldorm is still faster than going down and doing the torch room. Or the uh, tile room, rather. Oh. 
should be three spin slashes. That was probably one of the better low sword Moldorm fights I've ever had. To the tile room! Green Pendant also gets us an item from Sahasrala. At this point, if we, if, as long as we can get the gloves before we run out of spots to check, uh, we've still got... We shouldn't have to do Aghanim. <laughs> That's the goal right now, is just... Try not to do Aghanim. I know there's a glitch with this tower. Uh, I do not know how to do it. It's, again, one of those clips that I'm not familiar with. If you're standing on the pegs when they go up, you are constantly in an invincible state. I just realized I was on the wrong side of them. And then I missed. But we're almost done. There's our glove. No agonim required. And we have access to everything. I mean, not everything, everything, but uh, we've got Dark World access. We don't have a Moon Pearl, though, <laughs> so uh, that might be a problem. But we still have lots to check. Like, we still have this whole uh, Death Mountain section, which I'm really not feeling okay with the whole almost dead thing here. I don't want to walk all the way back over here. <laughs> okay. I just want to finish these and then I'll make the beeping go away, I promise. <laughs> More than enough money. We can do Zora with the mushroom check. I'd rather wait till we had flippers for that. We'll see where we what what else we get here. Uh, if we get the bow, this is gonna make the decision easier. Sick kid is now in it. Logic. We never did bonk rocks either. There's a lot we haven't done. Like, we still have access to all kinds of stuff. I'm not worried. Unless I keep playing like crap and die.
I'm not going to go all the way up to Zora right now. I am going to go into the witch's hut. Swap out a green bottle for a blue and refill my health. I feel like the best play at this point is gonna be... Well, actually, you know what? Let's do... let's do Bonk Rocks. We'll take a little bit of a roundabout because I would like to get the bow. But we've got boots and flute. Like, we should be able to get around pretty quick here to get back over to the other side if we need to. Should have fluted earlier, actually. I suppose it's still possible that there's a uh, Moon Pearl on Pyramid, but at this point, I feel like checking Eastern. There we go. That opens up a lot more. So getting the flippers means that now the Zora check feels a lot less out of the way. We can come, jump back up to Ice Rod Cave here. Uh, then we're going to do Hobo, Zora, Waterfall. Container. Boy. 
Come on. Yeah, outside of the, uh, the one I ran for the anniversary, I have not done much Zelda lately. I've been watching a lot of races. There's our Moon Pearl. I've been watching a lot of races. There's a great tournament that was on a little while ago. Um, like I said, it's it's really awesome. It does feel like the you know no major glitches. Speedrunners have kind of dominated the scene, which Andy has always kind of been the top guy, but he got eliminated early. Well, early in the bracket phase. Um, but. Like, the number of people who can do, like, all the crazy tricks and the hovers and the... Like, pretty much the entire, uh, Top 64 were doing all kinds of crazy glitch tricks. I would highly suggest checking it out if you ever get a chance. It's a great, uh... Or especially if you just want more of this... Second medallion. We don't know what we need for Turtle Rock or Misery Mire yet. Just rupees. Not very hype hype cave. Let's see where our crystals are quick, and that'll determine kind of which direction we go, because we have access to a lot right now. Um, I think... This looks like a cut across to Skullwoods, and, uh... I know we can't actually get across this way, I'm just getting these two out of the way while we're here. And then we're going to save put out to Sanctuary. go across and do dig game. I'm still getting the crap kicked out of me, so I feel like getting heart containers is still worth it, worth it for now. If I get blue mail, I'll feel a lot better about skipping those heart containers when we see them on the overworld. Slightly faster than walking. Without the uh, Titan Mitt, we do have to go around. That's okay. Knock out our first couple crystals. 
I guess we could technically go do desert also. But we don't have- or I guess that's not even an item, so we'll try and route that in with Mire. There's only two items in Skullwoods, so we want to start at the back. Basically, fight the boss first and then work your way through forward. I feel like I'm doing a decent job of remembering that I have tricks, but it's taking me a second to remember them. Stuff like, you know, mirror and such, where I'll walk part way back and then realize I have it and then pause a bit on the mirror while I or on the uh, menu while I process it. So I'm slightly nervous about this fight, but I feel like as long as we don't get a terrible pattern, we'll be okay. We've got half magic and, uh, um... Half magic fire rod. I'm gonna be safe. to get the items? Yeah. Must have. Okay. There's only two items in Skullwoods and the two chests we opened were the right ones, so... I think we're good. Because yeah, you get... The rest of them are small keys, big key, compass, map. So we don't have any other things to check in Skullwoods. That's why you do the easy checks first. <laughs> and we got a crystal out of it. That's the wrong way. Let's go down and do Thieves Town and Blind. Actually, while we're up here, let's just run up quick and do Graveyard Ledge and King's Tomb. And then we'll cut back across. Could have kept going. Whoops. I'm 
really don't have a good place to do catfish. Um, Titan's met. Nice. Like, we actually have most of the stuff we need. The main thing we're still missing is the bow. I think. Bow and hookshot. I'm not sure whether it's actually faster to run back and or to take the portal. Like flute back and take the portal again. Especially now that we've got myths. Might have been faster. I don't know. Dungeons don't we have to do? Pot and Ice Palace. Which unfortunately we have all the stuff for Ice Palace, except Hookshot, potentially. Yeah, no, I think we need. Oh, Lamp. We need Lamp still. So, Lamp. Uh. Nice. I'm okay with this. So, lamp, bow, possibly another medallion, but hopefully not. Getting wrecked repeatedly here. Like, my routing stuff has been a little slow. I know that. I feel like my fighting stuff has been awful. <laughs> uh, we don't have powder. thinking we had powder for some reason. Let's hope I can get through this without sucking. do have the hammer, and we did get the small key, so we can do the back room. Should have grabbed that heart. Uh, we're probably gonna end up going with Burna strats for... Blind at this rate. Never mind, that's a little bit more reliable.
I think everything is... whoops. Yeah. Yeah, we've got a best of 50-50 on blind being the map, so... We'll just continue here. really bad. torn because all the places we've got left at this point I'm pretty sure outside of like Dark Death Mountain actually even that I feel like it's a double dip like do we do overworld or do we stop or start risking double dips because we don't have the uh, we don't have the lamp for Meyer or uh, don't have the lamp for Meyer we don't have the have the bow for eastern, don't have the hookshot for swamp. Like. Like, we could go into Eastern, or Swamp, or Mire, and just start opening chests, but... There's only so much we can do without the hookshot or the bow. Now, there's a decent chance that we're gonna find one... the item for one of them and the other. Like, if we go to Swamp and start clearing it, we may find the bow and then have to go back to Eastern... ...and then find the hookshot there, kind of thing. Which honestly is okay. Like, there's worse things. Swamp has six chests in it. Like, that's a pretty solid start. Like, Eastern's not bad to double, or not terrible to double dip. And actually, um, being able to skip a lot of stuff would be nice for... Uh, would be nice for Swamp. That's the... The benefit of Swamp is if you can skip it, it's really short. <laughs> like, if you can go mode it. But at this point, I feel like it's better to do a double dip on Swamp than it is on Mire. Um...
Let's check our pendant for Meyer. I guess going into the back end of Meyer isn't that bad. We could do the front and west sides. Assuming we can get in. <laughs> I'm okay with that. <laughs> with how crappy I've been playing, uh, having that before go doing any more Dark World dungeons seems like a good plan. Uh, looks like we can't do Mire yet anyway, either. Checkerboard cave is in a bottle. You know what? Again, I've been playing like crap. Let's get some bottles. we're doing Swamp. Like, the other options are Pendant, Ice Palace. We don't have the Lamp for Turtle Rock, either. Like... There's a lot of these that are not happening. And yes, I probably should have done Desert real quick while I was there. But we will be going back to Meyer anyway, so it's not like it's the end of the world. What do you think? Always a key. Front half of Swamp is pretty straightforward here. Now it splits. Swamp's got a total of six items in it. I'm already not doing a great job keeping track. I think we've had one. Yeah. Two. Yeah, once basically that front part is the only part we have to redo. That was dumb. I can't steal the key, so I have to go this way. Uh, steal the key refers to um, grabbing the key for that's intended at a different section.
forgetting how much of this is easier with the hook shot, even if you don't have, or even if you aren't full clearing it, or aren't go moding it rather. Right, we have to double dip this. Because we don't have hookshot. Unless we get hookshot right here. So next would be or next thing after this is probably gonna be after this is probably going to be checking Eastern. If this is not the hook shot. Never mind, it's the big key, so we do get to go back and open the big chest at least. Uh, nice thing with this is that means it's not in the back half, so we won't have to backtrack to get it. Kind of holding out for bow. Like, I, I don't feel like it's going to be nice enough to give me the hook shot right here, but I feel like it might give me the bow. Or the lamp. do something a little odd here. I don't have a good place to throw catfish and uh... or to work catfish and pyramid in, so we're just gonna do those quick. I suppose pyramid could get done while we're doing pyramid fairy, which would be after... yeah, no. <laughs> That's after swamp and mire. I'm okay going a little out of my way for some overworld checks right now when we know that we've got a... Uh... When we know we've got multiple um, items needed for these last couple dungeons to even clear them. I feel like overworld checks is still better than pendant dungeons. <laughs> Safety bottles, just so we've got them. Um. 
And we're not, we don't actually have a lot of overworld checks left at this point, so there's a decent chance that it's Independent Dungeon, or the front of Turtle Rock, or uh, Eastern. Fire Shield, that's better than nothing. I suppose. Yeah, Pod and Eastern both have two items to get them, which feels really bad here. Um, let's do Sanctuary. I mean, the good news is I can clear if we get the bow. That's the one dark room, or the two dark rooms that I'm comfortable doing. So, one of them I'm more comfortable doing. One of them I'm comfortable doing because I've got a freaking tempered sword and blue mail. Great if I could stop sucking. Eastern. Should have gone earlier. Oh well. I'm okay with it still. Like, there's way worse things to happen than to be wrong about something like that. We still don't know if the lamp is here, which means that there's a possibility that the rest of the vit wouldn't be in logic, but I feel like there's a decent chance we're good and be good here. Compass. Lamp? Nope. So the rest of this is going to be out of logic, but I'm just going to go ahead and clear it. So yeah, if you don't have a lamp, you can still go through dark rooms. If you know where you're going, uh, that one and the other one in this room, or in this dungeon, are the only two that I really know how to get through. There's a few of them that are just, you know, entire mazes. That's a bit much for me. On to second row of hearts is a good spot to be.
There we go. Wait, what? Oh, is the rest of this in the dark too? Oh no, I just missed the stairs. That scared the crap out of me. I thought this back half was in the dark for a second. I was like, I didn't think it was. I thought it was just the two rooms. So we can't find the lamp here. We could theoretically find the hook shot. Which at this point I'm okay with getting the hook shot. could be 20 rupees and completely worthless, you know. It's a crystal. That's really what matters. At this point. Well... As obnoxious as this is, time to double dip Turtle Rock. Honestly, I might be able to get through the dark room there, but it's not a fun one. <laughs> it's the 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 laser maze with the fire bars. We do have to take the long way around still because we don't have the shot. Uh, we also don't know what pendant is needed here. bombs on the island. Quake? So we're gonna open Turtle Rock. We're not going right in. I'm gonna go check the chests on uh, Super Bunny Cave and the ones that are available in um, Hookshot Cave real quick. It's only a couple checks, but it's still possible. And again, if we're saving a double dip, that's, that's worth everything. Figures. jumps. Is that the only one you can do? Yeah, that's the only one you can do. <sighs> Bookshot can be in logic in that chest, I believe, so. Super Bunny Cave. This is just two chests, but it's easy to get to. There's our ether. Worse to double dip Turtle Rock or Mire. <laughs> like, 
you know what, we're here. I'm just gonna start, and we'll see what happens. able to go mode uh Meyer is good <laughs> so turtle rock go mode is not actually that different than turtle rock without go mode and like i said there's only one room i'm pretty sure there's only one room that requires the hook shot or not the hook shot there isn't a requirement for hook shot here but there is a requirement for um, lamp, logically, I might be able to do that room without. count on this dungeon. those guys so much. That's probably my least favorite room. One of my least favorite rooms in the game. Um, yeah, let's keep going. It's one of those where you have that brief moment of, maybe this is a sign that I'm being dumb. off the double with one block, which is not something I've actually done before. <sighs> I can't remember if this is supposed to be a key or not. might be. At worst, this wastes a little time. That's what I thought. We're gonna go this way, even though it's a little slower. I'm trying to remember if there's hearts up here. Don't. Um, 
if we get through the next couple rooms, then we have the save point. This is really risky, but it's not. These guys shouldn't be able to hurt me. be a fetch quest. So at this point we can go in here, uh, take a purposeful death inside Turtle Rock, and we'll restart from this entrance. With more hearts. I wanna save my hearts for or I wanna save my bottles because this next section's gonna suck. We've still got Laser Bridge. Actually, no, that's the last one that could be the lamp. Do I want to still just clear this? Let's try it. Let's see how bad this is. <laughs> oh, wait, no, there is one more. I forgot about this room. So this is the dark room in Turtle Rock. We're gonna try this, because I'm crazy, apparently. Nope. That's not good. I have no idea where I am. As long as that's the only dark room, we're good. <laughs> I hate this bridge. I'm cutting it way too tight there. You know what, we've got half magic and there's a thing coming up. Screw this. Let's just go beat Trinex and call this a day. Oh, 
I didn't take the save point. This is gonna be rough. <laughs> Hey, you know that dark room that I was really proud that I did? <laughs> We're behind it. We're gonna get the crystal. We're genuinely almost there, and I am actually feeling a lot more confident about it now. Should be it. <sighs> the trick is just getting the spacing on that first turn, because the rest of it is really straightforward as far as what you have to actually do to interact with it. I almost took the safety on Laser Bridge earlier, and I decided not to the first time. And then I had this brief hesitation where I was considering it the second time as well. But I feel like, at this point, we should be okay. Again, it seems like the regular enemies are what's kicking my butt this time. I'm like... That was really dumb. That's like on top of the rock. <laughs> okay, so we can do mire. Um, except for the dark rooms. Pod is not happening. Um, Meyer, I don't think. Yeah, no, Meyer has the turtle room. That's awful. Uh, we haven't checked. Bombo's tablet yet? That was the one other thing that I forgot to do. I was going to check it when I did Swamp. We can check it when we go back to Swamp, I guess. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so there's a decent chance that this could be Lamp and Go mode. There's also a decent chance that we're gonna be... Or Hookshot Lamp something. Something productive. I keep forgetting we actually have two items left. We're probably gonna have to do Ice or, uh... Odd. Ice makes more sense, unfortunately. Um. That was dumb. Piece of artisan thieves town. I do not know the key count for this level. Got the fire snake bounce. Yeah, let's go all the way down. For safety. That's not good. Pretty sure that's all of it before the dark rooms. Guess do I just try it? <laughs> Give it one fair shot.
There's a switch, or there's the switch over here that I've stepped on a couple times now. I need to put the block on it. There we go. Pretty sure this is right. Is this the turtle room or is this the skeleton room? This is the skeleton room. I thought that was just down into the side. Okay, I thought that's what I did the first time, but apparently I was wrong. Okay, this is the corner. What? Oh no. This is not the room I thought it was. This might be more than I want to deal with. Yeah, no. That's not happening. I was forgetting about that room. I can do a decent chunk of this in, uh... Apparently I can do more in darkness than I thought, but... Not that much. <sighs> Let's just do desert quick. I was gonna try and do this all in one sitting. This is taking longer than expected to even get started. <laughs> boss here is just the map, so it's not going to be our answer, but it is going to be a quick quick crystal, just to get it out of the way. Then we'll take a break, come back and do... Are we in Ice... probably Ice Palace? I think Ice Palace has more checks that don't involve... Uh, that don't involve dark rooms. Fire Rod should be two shots per... Tempered Sword is, I think, four. take a break. Um, this is longer than I usually go without taking a break. I was gonna try and stick it out, but <laughs> I'm starting to... I wasn't playing great to start with, and I want to get a little bit of clear head, so hopefully you're still enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.